Good on YouTube, it's Chris back in the captain's quarters with me funny hat on because it's fucking freezing. But before we start, before our waffle pants for the next, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, however long it's going to be, please hit that subscribe button and let's get this channel rocketing to, oh, the sky's the limit. So if you have tuned into this video, thank you. And we are here to talk about the Conor McGregor forged... Irish stout oh yeah so yeah so this Conor McGregor's forged Irish well this this is Conor, M Conor McGregor's branded forged stout now I've got to say right these cans are mint <clears throat> I mean just look at that look at the actual artwork in the back that's going to focus the artwork on that can is phenomenal and it's signed by the the Notorious on the bottom, Big Conor McGregor if you're in America, um, Forged Irish Stout. Now I know Conor's gone into the, the whiskey, oh, that'd explain why it's a close up. Um, the, the whiskey game as well, but that's not really my bag, so we're not going to talk about that. But we are going to talk about the Irish Stout. Now. For many, many years, right, I think Guinness has been the player, top player in Irish stout. I'm going to turn this heat around this reason. Guinness has been the big player in Irish stout, the, the stout market, in my opinion. Um, again, totally my opinion, but I'm just going to bring up for the, the actual web page. Right, so... So this is uh, now. I believe this is on premises in. What, as far as I'm aware, right, I'm talking shy here. Right, so the forged Irish stout, right? Um, it is on draft in certain places. From what I understand, it's on draft in Ireland in certain bars. I've not, don't know where it's on draft in the UK, but I would like to find out. Um, and it's on draft in America and Canada, as far as I'm aware. Now, how do I think it's going to get on in Ireland, which you've got like of uh, Beamish cider, Murphy's, Guinness, Connor? Is there really a place for your cider number four? Four. But anyway, we're going to give it a whirl. I'm actually really excited to try this. I've had it for a while. Um, but enough waffle, let's get it open. So it is a, I think it's about five quid for four. So you're talking one pound twenty-five a pint, uh, a can. It's a four forty mil. Um, Forge is brewed and canned in Ireland. Um, it is a four percent, four point two percent ABV. Uh, some burbage on the can. Serve cool chilled, but I do believe this is nitrogen infused. So we'll have a look. So let's pop the can. Um, and we're going to use a PD glass because I haven't got. I didn't want to be sacrilege and. Don't know if you could hear that. The uh, Z widget widgeting. I didn't want to use a Guinness glass because I thought it was sacrilege. So I'm assuming this has got to be poured with some vigorous, like a normal Guinness. So let's go. I would be intrigued to see what this is like at the nitro surge. To be honest with you. Oh oh. There we go. It's not bad part of that. So, I'll, so this, I think this came on the scene about 2000 and, 2000, about 2023. Um, and it was uh, released, I think it was released over in Ireland initially. Um, but obviously then it's moved out in the supermarkets. Um, you can definitely get it in ours, that's where I got mine. I'm not sure about Tesco, I've seen it in Sainsbury's, but I'm not sure about the other mainstream supermarkets. So, she's settled, so, Lovely, lovely smells from it. So it's got a nice, like a almost. I think let's focus on that creamy, caramely coloured head. 
very dark again because it's a stout let's just focus on my head and uh, yeah let's have a smell you're getting your coffee notes chocolate roasted malt oh, again this is I'm looking forward to this now so anyway guys cheers Now, that is very different. So I've literally just reviewed the um, Camden Stout. That is different, that is totally different that. That is a, that's a different beast. Um, That's a very different beast, that. So what am I getting? So the body is nice, again, it's a 4.2%. Slightly more on the Camden. Flavour-wise, you're getting... What are you getting, Chris? What are you getting? Chocolate notes, roasted malt, not so much as a coffee taste is what you get from a Guinness. And definitely not from the Camden one. I think the Camden had a lot more flavours than the Forged. Um, that's nice, but do you know what? It's nice, it's very, very smooth, very smooth. Um, very... Very smooth, really smooth. Yeah. So it's definitely not as, it's a lot more refined than um, the Camden. Um, very much on par with Guinness, if I'm honest. Um, Guinness has got a slightly more of a roasted malt towards the end whereas that it's quite it just sits there all the way through on your palate and um, the mouth feel is nice body's good you know you've got the very much tones of a guinness it's just very easy drinking i think i think this is very very easy drinking that's dangerous i think but only 4.2 percent it's not you're gonna have a fair few of these isn't they? the head is so creamy like it proper holds its head. What you'd expect to stout to, whereas the, the Camden didn't. You know, I've just got the dregs of the Camden there. You can just you can just compare them there. There's just I don't know if that you can see that. It's like night and day from how the head's held. But that is a very, very nice drink. Now then, do I think the Notorious is gonna compete with Guinness? I'm not sure. I actually don't know how this would stand against a Guinness and, you know, a Murphy's or a Beamish. Is it Beamish? I think it's Beamish. Um, Stouts. Um, that, it's nice. It is nice. Don't get me wrong, but I just don't think it's going to... I don't think it's really a contender to go up against the Guinness. I do think, you know, I think Connor, I think you've done a fantastic job. That is really nice. But I, I still think, you know, I'm putting Guinness on this. If you've got to hit a bar, the Guinness is the bar. Then from a single individual brew in this, I don't even know who it's brewed by. It's us Let's have a quick look. It's brewed in Dublin. It says that. I don't know, but I will find out, and I will put it on my socials. But yeah, definitely, definitely, that is a nice stout. You know, I think that's great. That really is. I think Connor's done a fantastic job of brewing a stout to make it. If five quid for four cans, that's good. 
I mean, I think, you know, the, if you're going to put it like so, I think the Brewdog, that's an offer at the moment in Tesco for about four quid for four, so you're looking at a pound a can. I think that's five quid for four, so you're looking at one pound twenty five a can. Um, Guinness Nitro Surge is on offer at, uh, um, I don't know, you have to have a look, but it's a lot more expensive than this, put it that way. But I don't think. It, I don't think that that is better than Guinness, but I do think that that is very much a contender to be up there with against. Um, I am going to do a face-off against all these three, so we'll do the Camden, we'll do the Guinness, we'll do the Forged, and we will do the um, Brewdog Stout, the Black Hearts. Um, we'll do we'll do it all together, and we'll see how we see how they come out. But to be honest with you, that, they're not bad. They're, that really isn't bad. Um, I would definitely recommend giving that a shot. You know, the mouth feels there. It's very much like a Guinness. Not quite on the same par of it, in my opinion. Um, but that's my take on it. My palate is going to be different to yours. But anyway, guys, thank you for listening to me waffle about the Conor McGregor Forged Irish Stout. Really nice drink. Have a look. Check it out. It's worth a go. Anyway, Thanks for taking time. If you've managed to get to this part of the video, please hit me up in the comments and drop me a subscribe. It means a lot. But anyway, guys, this is Chris in the captain's quarters. Peace out. We'll catch you next one.